this video is about Sourcely AI. I covered this tool in one of my previous videos, I think maybe a couple of times, but it got recently a new huge update. It is now far more faster and it has some new features which made me to record this video and to show you how it works. It's very simple to use it and Sourcely AI helps you to find academic sources for your academic texts, maybe essays, assignments or any kind of text. Very simple to use. If you don't have an account, just click on this get started button here and create your own account. And if you already, if you already have an account, just click on this login button here, which I'm going to do. And after logging in, you will have very this very simple interface. What you just need to do is just copy paste the text that you want to find sources on it and put it put that text here. I already copy pasted a small part from my own article and I'm going to put it here already here now. And if you want to find sources on this text, for example, if I want, and then just click on this find sources, and it may take a couple of seconds, definitely lesser than a minute. But if you want to find sources for longer uh, texts, it may take uh, some time. So now, as you will see, some parts of your text are highlighted now and the highlighted parts will be put under this section here the citation versus text highlights and you will see these numbers it's a number of the sources that sourcely found for that exactly highlighted part for example if you click on this small button here and you will see the names of the sources and by clicking on this view source which i always recommend doing that always double check the sources that sourcely recommend and just click on it and it will navigate you to the original source as you see it is the pdf also available but on sourcely ai here also you will see this pdf button and if you click on this pdf it will navigate you directly to the pdf file of that of course if that is a open source article so this is a very nice feature and also you will have you now can save articles on your library and for example if i do that and if i if you go to the i already have one here and if you go to your library you will see the saved articles here it is i think it's a very nice feature to find sources and i but I, as i mentioned always double check the sources because uh, these tools can make mistakes but definitely helpful to find sources there are some filters here you can now also define from which years you want exactly sources for example you can put 2020 here and until a certain time maybe 2024 2025 if you are watching this video in 2025 and then minimum citations number also you can include and exclude certain keywords or you can even tick this include pdfs and it will only show you the sources which has open source pdfs so that's basically a new version the version 2 of the source the ai and you will now have option to join monthly annually or if you are want to use sourcely for longer period of time as you can see here you will pay once for example for three years but if you want just to try it with limited amount of characters you can go with the trial option and if you use vugar 20 you will get 20% discount on monthly plan but if you want to go annually or if you want to join this believer plan you will you can use vugar 40 and get 40% discount on annual plan and believer plan so that's it please hit like and subscribe button thank you for your time